and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our mini pop-up butterflies dies, so let's go ahead and check it out. This set has three different butterflies in two different styles. One of the styles cuts the butterfly from the paper, leaving it attached to the paper, and then the other butterfly just cuts the butterfly out. So it's really, really cool because you can get two different looks. Here you can see that first style where it's cutting the butterfly from the paper, but it's still attached kind of at the body of the butterfly. It also has two little emboss lines. So all you need to do is bend it at those emboss lines and you're gonna create a pop-up butterfly where you can see what's coming out from behind it. And you'll see how to use that later on in the video. So there you'll see I'm just gonna bend at those little emboss lines right at the butterfly's body, bending those leaves up to give this really cool three-dimensional look that's been cut straight from the paper. I just love how cool these look. Now the other style of butterfly is gonna die cut an entire butterfly, but it's still gonna have those little emboss lines in the center. So you can either leave your butterfly flat or bend it up. So the first one we're gonna work with is a flat butterfly. And so you'll see there's that little die on the right. That's the different sized butterfly bodies. So I'm gonna add a little glue to the center of my butterfly and then take one of those little bodies and layer it there. Now you can either do this or not. It's just kind of like a little added, added extra detail and I think the butterflies look really great either way. Now here you can see a butterfly where I'm actually gonna bend at those emboss lines there. So I'm bending at those emboss lines and creating this really cool kind of 3D butterfly. So I love that you can have the butterfly either popped up or flat depending on what kind of card you're making. You can also add a body to the butterflies that are popped up and still attached to the card front there too. Next up, I'm gonna be recreating an absolutely stunning card by Yainea, so thank you so much, Yainea. And we're gonna be using some watercolors. So I've cut a piece of cardstock here to five and a half by four and a quarter, and I've dipped my paintbrush in some water, and then I'm dipping it into my paints, and I'm just gonna bring that to my paper and just create blobs of color in kind of a little rainbow area. So you'll see I'm just kind of moving that color around, no real rhyme or reason, and then just kind of connecting the colors in rainbow order. So there you'll see I'm adding some reds, and then I'm going into pinks and oranges, purples, etc., kind of creating this kind of rainbow blob effect. I think it's just so pretty. Now here I've die cut some cardstock with the largest outside in stitched rectangle. And I'm going to be die cutting from this. So here I have our scripty hello die, and then I'm going to put that about in the center of the cardstock. I'll use my post-it note tape to hold it in place, then I'll run it through my die cut machine. You'll see that I have some pieces stuck in the die. I'm going to leave those in the die for now because we're going to be using those pieces later on. Now I'm going to take that first style of butterfly, the one that die cuts from the cardstock but still leaves the butterfly attached. And I'm gonna put butterflies surrounding this hello. I'm gonna hold them in place with some low tack tape and then I'm gonna run it through my die cut machine. So here you'll see that now I have those cool little butterflies in my card. So I'm gonna keep filling this whole card up with my butterflies. So I'm gonna take my dies, kind of line them up, hold them in place, run them through my die cut machine, remove them, and then layer them again, creating a really cool butterfly pattern on my card, but we're creating the pattern with die cuts, which I think is really fun. So now I'll just be filling in those little extra spaces there with my smallest butterflies. And then when that's all done, I wanna fill in the kind of inside parts of my letters of the hello. And Yanea had a really good tip for this. What she did was she took a piece of acetate and she just trimmed it to fit behind that hello. So I just messily used my scissors, just kind of trimming around. I didn't want it to be seen behind any of the butterflies. I just wanted it to be around the hello. So I just kind of freehand cut it. Then I'm gonna use my glue tube and add some glue all the way around those letters. Then I'm gonna attach that acetate to the back. By doing this, I'm now gonna be able to easily attach the center of the letters without trying to put kind of foam dots behind it or something to make it line up. This is a really easy way to put the inside of those letters but still be able to have a die cut sentiment from the inside. So there you'll see I'm gonna pop out the part of the H there. I'll add some glue to that and then just attach it to that acetate. And I just love this tip. I've never tried this before and it made creating a kind of negative die cut word much easier in my card. So there I'm gonna add the H, then I'll add the inside of the E and continue to move to fill in my word to just kind of get that really cool look. And then the color is gonna be able to show behind those letters. 
Now that all of the inside of the letters are placed using that fun acetate trick, it's time to start popping up all those butterflies. So I'm just going to bend at those little embossed lines that the die created for me into my cardstock, and I'm going to bend those wings up, kind of creating this cool pop-up butterfly effect. And I'm going to do that all the way around the card, and it's going to look so cool to have all of these butterflies just flying around that sentiment in the center. Now once this is all done, we're going to be able to layer this on top of that watercolor piece we did earlier. So there you can see the cool pop-up effect. Now I'm going to layer it over that watercolor piece and it's going to look really, really cool. But I'm realizing that I kind of wanted the watercolor to be kind of expanding all the way out to the edges. So I just went and added the same exact colors and I just expanded that look to be closer to the edge of that card base. Then once that was all done, you'll see that I'll be able to layer it over and have the color peeking out from the edges and from behind the butterflies. Here I'm creating a card base at four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to attach my watercolor piece to that card base, and then I'm gonna add a bunch of little foam squares to the back of my butterfly piece so that it's popped up from all of that color. Once I have all of those liner pieces removed, I can layer that piece on top and my card is done. And I just loved making this card so much. I was so inspired to create this by Yanea's just beautiful card. And look at the rainbow popping out from behind those butterflies. I mean, this just makes me smile. It's so cool. It's so much fun. And you guys will have to let me know if you try a fun bop up butterfly card like this too. Next up, I'm going to be recreating a gorgeous card by Kay, so thank you so much, Kay. Now, Kay used the original Distress Inks on her card, which was a really bold look. And because I just got my oxides and I'm so excited about them, I decided to use my oxides instead. And it kind of made the card a softer look. So I love that with the same card design, you could get two different looks depending on which types of the Distress Inks you used. I'm using Picked Raspberry, Abandoned Coral, fossilized amber, and then squeeze lemonade to create this cool kind of sunset looking gradient. Each time I add a new color, I always go back to the color before it to make sure I blend those edges so that everything looks really, really nice. Now I'm gonna spray a lot of water in this. I'm using my Distress Spray and I'm spraying it from really far away because I wanted kind of more of a fine mist and I'm spraying a ton of water on there because I really want a ton of texture on this card. I'm blotting up some of that water, spraying again, blotting it up, spraying again until it looks really, really cool. Now I'm working on my butterflies. And so I want my butterflies to be from the Distress Oxides too. So I'm gonna create kind of a little rainbow that I'm gonna die cut my butterflies from. So I'm gonna do Abandoned Coral, and then I'm gonna switch over to my Picked Raspberry. And I'm overlapping those colors just a bit. Then next, I'm gonna work on my Wilted Violet. After that, I'll go into some Blueprint Sketch. Then I'll go into some peacock feathers. And then after that, cracked pistachio. And so I'm creating kind of just a little rainbow, doing nothing really difficult, just kind of sort of overlapping the colors. And then I'm gonna spray it with that same technique that I did for the main piece. I'm spraying a ton from kind of a, a little bit of a closer distance this time. I'm gonna blot up that water and just let it dry with all of that cool texture on it. And then I'm going to die cut my butterflies from it where the colors overlap so that that way all of the butterflies kind of have a cool different look. So you'll see there as I die cut them, they kind of have a darker edge and a lighter edge. And I, I just really think that's just so pretty. So there you can see I'm still lining up all of my little butterflies and I've got them all ready to go there. I'm gonna bend them at those score lines that the die creates for me so that they have a nice kind of three-dimensional effect. And then I'm gonna be adding those little butterfly bodies on there. And I'm gonna be die cutting those from some white cardstock and then using a little liquid glue to adhere those bodies on to my butterflies. Next up, I'm gonna be using the new Happy 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 Family add-on. And this is a great addition to our Happy 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 sentiment set where you can put all of your different relatives' names. So we have like mom, mama, nana, grandma, grandpa, daughter, sister, things like that. And in this case, I'm gonna make a card for my grandmother since Mother's Day is coming up and I know she would just love these butterflies. So I've got some black cardstock here and I use my anti-static tool to make sure that my embossing powder is only gonna to stamp to my Versamark ink that I've stamped my sentiment with. 
Then I'm going to add my white heat embossing powder to the sentiment and then heat it up with my gun. Now you'll notice that I left some kind of large gaps there. That's because I'm going to trim down these pieces. So I'm going to trim them down into thin slivers and then separate the different phrases from each other as well. And so this is a really cool, bold look, especially with that back black and white going on with all of that bright color we have in that background. I'm creating a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to attach that panel that we worked on at the beginning to this card base. And I just love that gorgeous sunset look. I'm gonna take all of my elements, my sentiment and my butterflies, and start layering them on my card to see how I think I'm going to like them. Then once I have my perfect placement, I can go ahead and start to work on adhering these. So I'm gonna use some foam squares for that sentiment to just kind of give it even more of a pop. And then after I've got all of my foam squares on there, I'm gonna use some liquid glue just along the body part of the butterfly so that the butterfly is popped up from my card base. So there you'll see, I'll just add the glue right there and then lay that right down onto my card. After I finish adhering my butterflies, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these Sukuneko Irresistible Pico embellishers in white and add some fun white dots. I love little details like this. I feel like I see a lot of card makers doing little things like glossy accents or the little kind of nouveau drops or things like that. And I kind of forget to do those. So it's really fun to recreate a card by a friend and get inspired by their techniques so that I'll be using these fun white dots on more of my cards in the future. I just love that from one small die set, you can get these gorgeous, fun butterfly cards. They make me smile so much. Oh my gosh, the color peeking out from behind the pop-up ones, and then the butterflies laid on top of the card are just gorgeous. We also have some incredible examples by the design team. First up, we have a card by Nicole, and I love that background she created and how she layered vellum onto the butterflies. Then we have a beautiful card by Lizzie, and I love her vellum butterflies too. This is beautiful and sweet. Here we have a gorgeous card by Elise, and I love that she cut the butterflies from pattern paper. That's such a fun look. And then here, Elena created these gorgeous butterflies with the purple detail that is just stunning. I love her coloring. Here's a quick and easy card where we used colored cardstock behind the butterflies to be the gorgeous pops of color. And then here is that beautiful card by Kay that I used today for the video. We have another gorgeous watercolor creation by Lynette. I love those pinks and oranges that she used. And then here's the gorgeous card by Yanea that inspired me to make mine today. This card just makes me smile. So I cannot wait to see your butterfly cards, so make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!